The first thing that you need to do before we ex uh, start this and you need to download the book. I hope that you have already done that. If not, kindly visit this website. Right? Kindly visit this website, go through it. And then you can select the language. Then you can download it. Select the language, select the grade. And after that, proceed and you can download both books. So one is uh, your verb book, the second one is your uh, reading book. You need both to proceed. And so let's open the book and see what's the con what are the content there. So today is your very first lesson. Yesterday, uh, actually last week we have done the introduction and today what we are going to do is we are going to start our lesson the very first one and this is your book once you download uh, we'll get this one so please check whether you are getting the same sometimes you know still you are not having the printed book because still schools are doing they are going on their old track not yet completed the previous grade syllabus but doesn't matter we will uh, let's go on schedule so one day the schools will so we hope that uh, school will come back to the normal schedule actually by that time we want we don't want to hurry uh, we can just proceed as normal so that's why i'm starting the grade earlier so i think uh, we always we need to follow a good timeline i grab them there are issues you know in the world there are issues time to time different different tragedies different like this you can see COVID-19 like situation these situations are coming so that is uh, natural in future there will be more frequent but that should not affect your education that should not affect your age and the timeline so first come first serve if you get your qualification earlier and if you complete it earlier you you will be benefiting right so don't delay your work so I don't think that it will affect much because we are going to start this. Some, so most of the students will think that uh, like it is not the time to start. We should go with the school schedule. But my recommendation is try to do this even before the school. That doesn't matter, right? Because we see these subjects you can enjoy, especially IIT, science, maths. These subjects are practical and we can enjoy. Okay, the very first thing. Preparation of computer specification. That is our first chapter. What we are going to do there. So we are going to learn about our own computer. Actually, we are going to learn about uh, the computer means it can be the tab. It can be your mobile phone. It can be tab. It can be uh, mobile phone. It can be tab and it can be um, laptop, desktop, anything. But you are going to learn about your device specifications means so things like the processor speed, memory capacity, hard disk capacity. Those are the things that you are going to do. Those are the things that you are going to uh, look into. And today let's do that activity and see whether you know about your computer or not. The next one. Electronic spreadsheets. That is about application software. You have already learned about the application software in your previous grades, grade six to seven, eight, nine. So you, eight, up to eight, you have learned about the application software. Now you know various application software like graphic processing applications, paint, uh, zoom, different things, and also cloud applications, and also about Word, uh, Google Docs, PowerPoint, presentations, Google presentation, Google Slides. Now you have better exposure to those cloud then normal applications. We have done that in uh, grade 8. Here we are going to learn about the spreadsheet application. That is one of the main lessons that we are going to learn here. The advantage of this, benefit of this is really important to know the benefit and also get that benefit. Why? Because for your all level examination, in the next two grades, you are going to do next two years, you are going to do your all levels next two or three years. So this will be useful for your all levels. All level ICT paper, 
you are getting some questions from this area and not just in the industry, in the working environment. If you are doing freelancing, this is the time for you to start uh, and you to try maybe uh, because uh, the other students in other countries, uh, I think your age is around now, it's around 13, 14. So in the other countries, students are starting uh, their industrial journey or they are going to learn for a career or for a job. So I don't want you to do jobs uh, by moving away from the schools, but you can start your part-time career because now your age is somewhat okay. Right? You can start your part-time career. You can start a YouTube channel maybe. You can start doing freelancing. That platforms are now, so some of the platforms are open for you with your age, with your legitimate age, you can start doing a small business. So I recommend that because that is also a part of learning. In Sri Lankan context, parents, teachers think the student should earn only after 18. But in the global concept, the student should earn and also students should know principles like uh, personal financing. Even I can show you grade 8 materials from USA. For grade 8, they have personal financing. How to handle on finance. How to handle your money. That part is there for mathematics. In USA, so you can just see uh, these uh, syllabuses. If you have friends, if not, just uh, Google it. You can see this personal finance handling business entrepreneurship like topics are there for school kids, especially grade eight onwards. They are training their uh, kids or the children for future careers. So this is the time, this is the time for you to start. So be international. Don't just be national. Be national is sometimes a disaster. Because I can remember I'm a kind of nationalist. I love my nation, I love my country, and I didn't think beyond that. But now I'm really not happy about my decision. Because uh, if I thought a little bit more, at, if I thought uh, more than this country, if I thought, uh, if I got a global thoughts that time, surely I will be serving a lot of other countries also. Not just Sri Lanka, I will I will serve Sri Lanka as well as I will serve some other countries too. Even I went to a uh, few countries for working, but I, I didn't realize the importance of that at that time. But it is really good to have an international career rather than a national career. So you can start your international journey now. Chapter number three is programming. So that is one of the interesting chapters that we have followed from grade six, seven, eight. Right? We have done small games. We have created small games. We learn about the sequence selection repetition. Here we will be learning some advanced concepts of that. And use of microcontrollers is the next. Right, that they are, We will learn single board computers, single chip computers. Right? Single board computers, single chip computers. Computers are everywhere. Now Chinese people are telling the computer or this a single chip or single board computer will be even cheaper than garbage. Wonderful, right? Even cheaper than garbage means computers, computer chips, single board computers, single chip computers. What's the reason? So there are there are computers, even in your toothbrush, it is possible to embed a computer, even in your spectacles. Even in your shirt, t-shirt, a shoe, even uh, inside your car key. So it is possible to embed a computer. Even in your watch, it is possible to embed a computer. So these are the microcontrollers that we are going to learn. And we will create some microcontrollers too. And I will send you physical kits, robotic kits. Earlier, actually, we sent that for free, but now it's not possible. You know the cost of these devices are really, really high. But when we are doing this lesson, I will tell, then you can order and you can do your practicals. I will provide that for a reasonable cost. So which should be, which will be below, which will below that the market. The cost will be below 
the market price. But the thing is, I cannot provide that for free. Earlier, I should have provided that for free, but we cannot do this now. Then the computer network. We are going to connect multiple computers together using wires and also using wireless media. We are going to do that at your home. You can do this in your home environment. I will teach. You will create your home network. Then the impact of ICT to the society. That is your last lesson. There are negative, positive impacts. There are negative impacts, positive impacts. And we are going to learn about that. The negative impacts and positive impacts. We are going to learn about that. That is it. Okay. That's your journey. That's what you are going to learn. And that was, that's what you are going to study. I hope this will um, give you some idea about what you are going to learn. Then, so let's move to the chapter number one. You can write down your heading in your book. That is preparation of computer specifications. Please write down the topic in your book. Write in book preparation of computer specification. Preparation of computer specifications. Okay. I need you to do small, very small activity. Here I have a sheet. I will share that sheet with you. Can you see? I have shared that uh, sheet with uh, the previous class. And these, these are their answers. Some of the students still, they, are, they have not filled. But you can start filling this immediately. Okay. What you need to do? I will provide this sheet to you now with the editing capability. With the editing capability, I will provide this to you now. Sweet. Fresh. Now, first of all, let me include your names. Kevin. Okay, I have added your names. So what you need to do? So don't worry. I will teach you how to do this if you don't know. But if you already know, you can start filling this. First of all, I will give you five minutes to those who already know how to... Come on. Those who already know how to uh, fill this can uh, start... Feeling this now. You meant. I will add your name also. Okay. Those who already know how to fill this can start filling now. But if you don't know, don't worry. Just wait five minutes. After five minutes, I will teach each of you one by one about how to fill this. Right? First of all, let's give a try. If it fails... First of all, let's give a try. If it fails, doesn't matter. I will tell you how to do. Just wait. And so if you don't, if you don't have access to this, what you can do is you can send the answers in chat. I have sent you the sheet link. You can start filling it now. But if you don't have access, you can do it. Uh, and you can send me using the chat. No matter what your device is. Maybe you are using your mobile phone. Maybe you are using your, uh, you, maybe you are using your mobile phone. Maybe you are you are using a tab. Maybe uh, you are using a computer, laptop, desktop. Doesn't matter which device that you are using. That doesn't matter. But in every each and every device, it is possible to fill this. Right? You can start 
fill in now. I will give five minutes. Now it is 7.31. By 7.36, I will tell you how to do. In case, if you cannot do this, I will help. Don't worry. Okay, let's help your friends who are having difficulties and who don't know how to fill this. Because this aim of this lesson is any way to fill this No, Therefore, you should know this. Right? Okay, let's see. Hmm, I want... Yes. Okay. So let's start from... Harisa, yes, what's the issue? So Harisa, can, can't you see that? Or are you joining with your, your mobile phone? Or what's, what's going on? Harisa, what's going on? Hello? Am I audible, Harisa? Okay, let's give up. So, I think I can move to Sunny this one. Sunny D, are you there? Oh, what has happened? Oh, Sunny D. Yes. Sunny D, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, what is the, the issue, Sunny D? Are you joining using your mobile phone or? I am joining using mobile phone. Okay. Do you know how to find the details in mobile phone, Sunny D? No, sir. Okay. There you can download small software. Okay. Can you share the screen first? Mm, you can get some information from the default setting screen. Okay, Sanindi, can you share the screen first? Okay, sir. Doesn't matter, it's a mobile phone or just share the screen first. I will tell you how to do that in a mobile phone. Sunny B, can you? All right, okay, Sunny B. Okay, Sanindi, can you go to your settings? Can you go to the settings? They are put there. Can you go to go down? And see, there are something called in. Uh, so please move down further, further, further. Can you see about phone? Okay, they are. Can you see uh, about the phone? Just move down a little. Status information. Just move down a little. What the palette? Just move down a little. Right. Can you see? Go to the status information. Status information. 
you are getting some of the details. Not everything. Okay, so let's go to App Store. I think it's easy to get from that app. Right. This this one also showing some details, but just go to the App Store. There you can just search CPU is a CPU is a is a yes install. And open it. It's only five megabytes, very easy and convenient app that you can use. Right, open input there and you can see more details about your computer there. Right, okay, can you see? Can others tell me what you can see? So what is this? Uh, 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 just cancel it, close it, okay. So how many, uh, so what is this uh, CPU? Can you see the speed of that CPU? It is 1.8 GH, he says. That is how we measure that. 1.8. 8 G H is a killer thing pair and 1.80 second row architecture 8x ARM uh, then 1.8 G H is a 1.8 gigahertz that is the speed and it is octa core it has eight cores octa core right it had octa core 1.8 gigahertz that is the processor and then go to the device then go to the device device tab the second one device kill the right there you can see available ram it is one point uh, total ram is three five six eight mb closer to four gb closer to four gb i'll i'll tell how to get this right this gb gigahertz and the storage is closer to 64 gb so i'll tell how to do that how here 51.97 gb is basically we are rounding it to 64 gb Right, those are the information, and you can get more information from this. Right, there are a lot of information screen size, the resolution, many things. The CPU is a app, you, you all can install this to your mobile phone to see your performance. Right, so I think you can get this information and then uh, just uh, fill this, fill that table. Okay, put it. So, who else had the problems of uh, yes, who else had the problems? Can you tell me Sanidhi is okay? Anjana. Anjana, what's going on? What's wrong in your one, Anjana? Anjana, are you there? Anjana is not there. So don't know why. You met. You met. You met, yes. You met. Do you need help? You met? Yes, sir. Okay. Do you need help? Yes, sir. Okay, can you share the screen? I'll tell you how to do that, right? Yes, sir. You can share the screen. Okay, you may. You can also go to the App Store, download that CPU EZ software. Please go to App Store and download CPU EZ. First, go to the App Store, Play Store or App Store. Play Store, in the App Store, the Play Store. In Google, I think I'm inside the Google, you can see the Play Store. They are please type CPU EZ. Okay, search it. Yes, please install that software and you can get all the details there. Okay. 
Okay, so it will take some time. If you have Zoom data only, maybe it will not install. Check whether you have a data package which can download and install the software today. But if it is only Zoom data, then it won't work. Right? Just check whether you have enabled uh, the other data package, otherwise it won't install. Okay, let's see how to see this in a computer. In my computer, So can I share my, share my screen? Oh yeah, yeah, sure, sure, you can share. Yes, you can share. Right, uh, then please go to the desktop. Just wait. Harissa, can you share it again? Please share it again. Okay, so, now. Right, no, no. Okay, now right click on. So uh, I'll tell you a few methods. One thing that you can do is right click on this, this PC and go to the properties. Right click on this PC, then go to the properties. Right click, go to the properties. Excuse me, sir. Yes, okay. Yes, yes. Tell me. You can talk and ask the question. Okay. So, what should I do now? Okay. So can you read? Can you read? Yeah. So can't you see? Then it's there. Okay. Right? So this is the speed. It is three gigahertz. Oh, three gigahertz is the speed. And your CPU is i3, Intel Core i3. The brand of the CPU is Intel. It is Core i3. And it is three gigahertz. And your random access memory is 4 GB. You can get details from that window. CPU brand, type, and also the speed, and also the uh, capacity of the random access memory. The CPU architecture, x64 base architecture. You can get those details there. Okay. So that is one place. Sir, then what are these things? Uh, okay. <coughs> First fill those details and then here, yeah. can you right click here? Can you right click here? In the taskbar, empty place of the taskbar. Okay. And then take the task manager. Then get the task manager. Task? Task manager. Okay. Okay. When you get this task manager, you can go to the performance tab of the task manager. You can go to the performance tab of the task manager. Okay, then here you can see your memory capacity. It's 4 GB. Can you maximize this to see more details? Okay, this is a 4 GB memory. You can see that. And when you go to CPU and speed of the memory, it's also here. 266. Speed of the memory is here. 2,666, 67 megahertz. That is the speed of the memory. And then you can go to the CPU. There you can see 
uh, the speed of the CPU and also the CPU brand and CPU type and CPU speed as well as CPU speed is here, number of cores in the CPU and L1, L2, L3 cache memories. I'll tell what are these things. Today we are just doing the experiment. Don't worry, we are just doing the experiment today. Right? We will discuss details next day because no hurry. Let's learn little by little. First, you need to know how to see these things. Right? First, you need to see, you know, how to check, how to see these things. That is the first thing. The second is that you need to know the first is how to see this and the second is what are they? You should understand. So how to update, how to change, how to improve the performance of your computer, how to buy a new computer, how can you update or upgrade the existing computer, how to repair it. And that is what we are going to learn throughout the lesson. Okay. And the hard disk size here you can see this is HDD. And the hard disk size is here. It is 932 GB. And you can tell it is closer to 1 terabyte. We are rounding off. The capacity is basically we are rounding. It's 1 terabyte hard disk. Okay, that's it. I hope you got all the details that you needed. So let's help somebody else also. Now I have done help a few and uh, do you know how to look at these things in the mac computer you can go to this about this mac and then you can find information about this processor here it is a uh, 1.6 intel core 5 intel is the brand 8 gb 1.1600 megahertz of ddr3 random access memory and storage is uh, 120 gb 120 gb SSD flash storage. So that is that is it. And for Mac also, you can check this information. And by going to the system report, you can get more details. L1 cache, L2 cache, L3 cache. You can get details of these two. Right? Okay. That is in a Mac. If you have a Linux computer, I can show this in Linux computer too. Now let's fill it. Okay, anyone else need help? Need to know how to get these details. Now I can spend few minutes to do help another one. Who's ready? Yes, no one. I'll teach you another way of measuring these string things too. If anyone can share, I will teach another method, a new method which I didn't. Okay, who's this? Ah, uh, Yashnit. Yashnit want to know a new method. Okay, good. Yashnit, method number one. Can you show me the method number one, Yashnit? Just minimize this window and show me the method number one. You have to right click on this PC and then go to properties. Correct. That is method number one. Okay, Yashnit, you can see the details. Let's go to the method number two, Yashnit. Close this, please. That is by right click in on the taskbar and select the task manager and then go to the performance tab there you can see these details in the cpu tab you can see the cache memories and all good that's it number three the third method you can press windows key and r key together windows key and r key together first windows Key. While pressing the Windows key, press R key and release both. Okay. Windows and R. Then type <laughs> MS Info 32. MS Info 32. Press Enter. Or press OK. There also you can get all these details. So can you see? You are getting the CPU, CPU brand, the memory capacity, and all the hardware details. That is by pressing Windows key and R key and go to MS Info 32. When you are buying a new machine, please go and compare. Okay, let's see some comparisons now. How can we compare? Which is the best? 
which should be okay. The first thing to consider is the you can see almost all processors are coming from Intel. It seems right. All the processors, almost all, but some are they are AMD, but here no one is having an AMD process, all are having Intel process. You can see the fastest processor is with the Ashnist computer. Uh, it's with Tenuka's computer, it's 3.3 gigahertz, it's fastest. Yashnis is having 3.2 gigahertz processor. And then here, actually, Tenu is having i7. i7 is better than the other i versions, but the thing is still that is a bit slower than the part, it's not that much faster. Next thing is the memory capacity. And see that Moat and Tenia and also Tenura having 8 GB memories. When you have more capacity in the memory, the computer will be faster. Right? When there is more capacity, the computer will be faster due to the memory capacity is high due to this because it can load more content to the memory. And next thing is you have to consider about the speed of the memory. Actually, here you can see the Tisula's computer and also in Rehan's, no, Hariza's computer, the memory speed is really high. Right? Tisula's computer is 4 GB but having high memory speed. And Rehansa's computer is 3.1. Still, I don't know the capacity. And Harisa's computer is uh, 2667 megahertz. It is faster. When the memory is faster, it loads faster. It loads things faster. And also the cache memory. Here, this one is, this machine is very good. For some reason, <laughs> it's having a very fast cache memory. And this one, this, both these machines are having very fast cache memories. So who owns these two machines? Tenia and Tisula. They own these two machines. Comparatively, these two machines are performing higher than the other machines. So what are these two machines? One is from, this machine is from Tenia and Tisula. These machines should perform faster than the other machines. And one thing that, uh, what? One thing that Tisula can do is upgrade his uh, memory. If Tisula can update this to 8 GB, Tisula can do more work. If uh, Kevin can update this to 4, 8 GB, can do more work. Chandula can update it to 8 GB, can do more work. Other machines are okay, it's not slow, but the thing is we need to do some updates. Right, Kevin, I think you are using a tab, it seems. Is it a tab or computer? It's a computer. Computer. But it seems it's a bit slower, right? Yeah, I say it's slow. I think it's a bit slower. Because like I can see the speed and all. But still you can do small change. So you can make it faster by updating the RAM. That will solve this problem up to some extent. And one more thing that you can do is install SSD hard disk. SSD one. And adding SSD and adding 4 GB will make a difference. So that's the nature. Yeah. So then we have discussed, but still I know you cannot understand it exactly. That is the nature because you are new, new to the subject. Doesn't matter. Try to feel this, right? Still, sir, you cannot be, yes? Sir, in my computer, the memory capacity is not visible, sir. Only the memory speed is there. Who tells? Me. No, I saw that your memory capacity is 4 GB. I saw that in the task manager. In the performance tab, I saw it. I'll check it. Isn't that so? <laughs> and also in the system properties, it was there. Well, how to check the HDD? Uh, H -H HDD and SDD is there. When you have SDD, it will mention. So can you share? I'll show it very quickly. Okay, here can you see it is SSD. So it mentions here as SSD. That is a solid state drive. Can you see the disk is SSD. 
there you can see it here also you can see ssd256 if it is not ssd it will mention as hdd here hdd is slower but ssd is faster ssd is actually super faster you can see the transfer rate the data speed is very very high okay so let's learn i think now you know the basic next day let's learn how can we improve your computer and what are these things what is this gigahertz what is this terabyte what is this megahertz what is this kb mb these terms what is intel what is this coi3 coi5 ddr what are these terms still you don't know that doesn't matter because we are going to learn that next day okay then so see you all next week Good night. Bye. Good night, sir. Good night, sir.